Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Sparkling Beauty B. Today's video is about lipsticks. Yes, after a long time, I'm here with some lipstick recommendations and the two lipsticks that I have here today to share with you are my favorite. I have been using them almost every day ever since I got them and I feel like they're really amazing. There's so many reasons why I love them and today I will be sharing the points, break down the points, why I love them and also do swatches for you so you can see how they look like on my skin. So the very first lipstick I have here is this one. So this is the first lipstick that I'm going to show you today. It's Makeup by Mario and this lipstick is in the shade Daniela. This lipstick is called Daniela. I really love the packaging of this lipstick. It's so stunning, so simple and sleek, and it's so easy to close. It's like magnetic. I just love that sound and like very simple, but very luxurious looking. I love, I love this simple packaging. And then when you open this, look at the color. So this is the color, how it looks like. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. We'll be trying these lipsticks right now. So I will do a swatch on my lip so you can see how it actually looks like on my skin. Okay, so I will be putting on this lipstick without any lip liner first and see how it looks like just itself. So this is the color. This is how the lipstick looks on like against my skin just by itself without any liner. And I feel like I don't need to use any lip liner for this lipstick because itself it looks so good. Right? So this is such a nice like mauve lipstick. I think this is very pretty. This is one of my everyday shades that I've been using so much. Uh, I will tell you more about the lipstick, but let's uh, do a liner on the top. So I just want to use a lip liner and this is the lip liner which is called Lip Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury and the shade is Love Trap. This is so close color to this lipstick. So I just line, want to overline a little bit. So I don't really think you need any lip liner on the top because it sells the lipstick works well, but you know, uh, using a lip liner always helps the lipstick to stay in place. Like even though this lipstick itself is just all right, I don't feel like I need a liner, but you know, it's up to you. You can just wear it just like that. So that's the color. What do you think guys? I think this is so... I feel like this is so pretty. This color, this shade blends so beautifully against my skin. And I feel like this lipstick itself gives kind of a, you know, a bold, like more... My lips look more fuller and bold. But at the same time, it's a very neutral color. It has mauve tone, but it's very like a good neutral for my skin tone. So I absolutely love this. And also quality wise, I'm just, I feel like this is one of the best quality lipsticks that I ever tried. I don't know about other shades. I just have only one uh, shade, this one from Makeup by Mario because this shade just attracted me so much. I didn't find any other shade that I wanted to try out. So uh, this is the only one. But now that I love the quality, I think I would go for uh, like try more of the shades. 
so this uh, lipstick feels so comfortable and looks so matte on my lips that I love it so much. I can totally wear it during the fall season, winter season without worrying about my lips getting chappy or dry. So I believe that uh, this is such a, you know, uh, almost like a lip balm feeling, but at the same time giving me such a nice color. This lipstick I can wear every single day for my work. I can wear it even with smoky eyes for evening outing. This is such a versatile color and I feel like I can wear it anytime, all the time and with all my outfit. It looks so good. Um, yeah, so usually um, Back in the days, I used to love bold lipsticks, but I feel like now I more go for, you know, this kind of subtle colors, more like um, those colors that blends with my skin tone and looks more nude on against my skin tone. So this is the shade that I always uh, wanted to look for and finally got it. I absolutely love it and I got this lipstick from Sephora website and in their website this lipstick retails for 32 Canadian dollars uh, I feel like this is totally worth the money I 100% recommend you guys to try this out I feel like this lipstick will be nice for so many different skin tones but be aware if you have lighter skin tone this lipstick may look more darker obviously so it depends on what type of skin tone you have so if you have closer to my skin tone it will be a more like a mauve nude shade and uh, quality wise uh, if you like matte and then you have chappy dry lips you will find it super comfortable so it's just perfect for all season and i also want to mention you that sephora sales are coming soon so i am reviewing all those you know makeup items so you can put them in your wish list and buy them when the discount offer comes around you so yeah just keep making your wish list so now moving on to my next lipstick and that is from dior so this is a dior lipstick that i have been waiting to buy for so long you won't believe probably i have been waiting to get this one from January probably yeah January so from the beginning of the year I didn't find this lipstick it was always stuck out at Sephora I didn't even find it in the Dior website I don't know why so I think this is the one which is so demanding because it's always out of stock so yeah let's see this is the shade look at the shade how gorgeous and this shade is called um, 814 Rouge Atelier Matte. So the number is 814 and this one is a brick red color. So on my skin tone, it looks more orangey brick red, like more on like orange undertone, but it has that brick red color. And I'm going to show that on my lips so that you can see how it looks on me. Okay, so now I'm going to try the Dior lipstick on my lips and tell you why I love it so much, okay? So let's do a lip swatch. So I'm just lightly going over my lips. I'm not using a lip liner just yet, just to show you how it looks itself on my lips. So look at the color, how pretty. Like I really love, 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 love the color. So this is another matte lipstick, which is matte, but it has that very comfortable feeling on my lips. Matte, but at the same time, it has that very comfortable feeling on my lips. My lips doesn't feel dry. It's like super comfortable, like wearing nothing or just a lip balm. So yeah, absolutely love this, especially for this fall season when the weather is really dry and crisp and 
We need a lot of care for our lips, especially my lips are really chappy and I just cannot wear any drier lipsticks anymore. So, but still, you know, I always tell you guys that I don't like, um, uh, I don't like glossy lips on me. Like very rarely I do that. Most often I go for matte ones, but I want comfort. And these two lipsticks that I showed you today are the most comfortable lipsticks I ever tried. At the same time, it looks very matte on my lips. So I absolutely love them. And this is another shade that I can wear every day, no matter what, what I'm wearing, especially for fall season when I'm wearing more neutrals, browns, whites, and you know, all those fall colors. This goes so nicely with each outfit. I really love that. I also feel like that this type of color, you can just wear them with casual outfit and also night outs for special occasion. When you have dark, smoky eyes with this type of almost like gives a neutral tone. I love it so much. So I highly recommend to try out this one as well, why they're still in stock. So let's do a lip liner and see how it looks. So for this one, I would use Walk of Shame, uh, sorry, Walk of No Shame from Charlotte Tilbury. And let's see, because this is the closest color liner, I think. don't think you really need a liner but you know walk of no shame goes so perfectly with this shade and looks really nice yeah i feel like walk of no shame lip liner by charlotte tilbury is a perfect match with this so um you can obviously buy uh, the lip liner from the same brand, but the one I have here goes really well, so I absolutely love it. Yeah, so lip liner makes your lips look more bolder, and it feels like, you know, my lips look more fuller with both of these lipsticks, which I absolutely love. Instantly, it changes the shape of the lips. Like, I just... I didn't overdo it, I just went uh, over my own lips and no other lipsticks make my lips so, you know, bold and precise. I think something about these lipsticks are there. So love, love, love both of these. And this Dior lipstick at Sephora website, they retail for 50 Canadian dollars. So also this is a highly priced lipstick, but I think this is totally worth the money, but it is wise to get them during the sale season. So holiday season is coming. You can put them in your wish list and get them when sale is there. But remember this particular shade 814 sales out so fast so I don't know if you will be able to get it during the sale time so I actually got it I had a coupon for like $10 off and I used that so got uh, some discounts but yeah I could not wait for the sale season just because I didn't want to miss this shade again because I waited for such a long time for this particular shade and the wait was totally worth it. So that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video and you have really got a you know, whole idea about how these lipsticks are. I hope you will try these lipsticks if you love this kind of shades. And I think these two shades can give you such a versatile way of making your makeup look good. So um, I really, really recommend you guys to try this both out. I hope you will love it. And let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are. I always appreciate your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow my Instagram Sparkling Beauty B. So these are the two lipsticks I highly, highly recommend to try you guys this time of the year. And I think they will last you all the year round. I really love them. So hope you enjoyed this video today and see you next time. Bye.